And shifting focus, we head to Nigeria, where lawmakers are questioning South Africa's MTN, uh, Nigeria's trade minister, and of course four lenders over the alleged illegal transfer of $14 billion out of the country. Now, the four lenders were invited to appear before the Senate, a committee on banking, insurance, and other financial institutions. The lenders are Stanbic IBTC Bank, Standard Chartered Bank, Citibank, and Diamond Bank. As per the Senate a committee chairman, MTN and Nigeria's trade minister, Okechuku and Elenema, have denied any wrongdoing. Well, Deji Badmus now joins us in Lagos with an update on this issue. Deji, as always, welcome to the show. Now, it looks like it's round two between MTN and the government again, and it includes, of course, a sitting minister. Give us some insight into these allegations and, of course, the possible repercussions. Well, Uchi, uh, the allegations are pretty straightforward, even though somewhat complicated, I must add. Uh, basically, what uh, the Senate is accusing uh, MTN and um, these individuals, including uh, the banks as well and the, the Minister of Trade, is that uh, in the case of MTN, uh, it says um, MTN uh, actually imported uh, money into the country when it was um, when it won the license to operate a, a mobile uh, telecom service in this country that the money it used to pay for that license, it actually brought in about 280-something million dollars, but that when it brought in that money, it did not obtain what is called a certificate of importation. That is um, the allegation now leveled against MTN, and that subsequently MTN uh, brought in uh, another uh, tranche of money totaling, uh, several tranche now of money totaling uh, around 117 billion and that this money, in, 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 you know, in bringing in this money, MTN still did not obtain that uh, certificate of capital importation from the banks it used to bring in this money. Now, in the case of the banks, the banks are accused of not issuing this certificate of importation to, to MTN. And uh, in the case of um, Enelama, that's the trade minister now, um, in his own case, uh, the, the allegation is that... Um, Sometime in 2008, sometime in February 2008, uh, the allegation is that, you know, he wrote that he actually invested money in MTN and, uh, and then he got a certificate of capital importation, brought in money, and that on the same day he brought in that money, he transferred that money out of the country. Now, this, of course, uh, would be a, a, an offense, and that, 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 that's, that basically sums it. And the repercussion, of course, if uh, they are found uh, guilty, because uh, this case will still have to go to court anyway, uh, right. there, there definitely will be fines against uh, not just the company now, the banks and, and of course, including the minister. Mm, and like you mentioned, uh, uh, the National Assembly didn't just summon MTN or the four banks. It also summoned the CBN, the Financial Reporting Council of Nigeria and a few others. Now, who really is uh, accused of being complicit in this alleged looting of funds? Now, in the case of the CBN, the reason the CBN uh, was called in is because, you know, when, the, when a bank issues a capital of importation, that bank is supposed to make returns to the CBN within 48 hours because usually the law says if you're importing capital, you're supposed to get uh, uh, that certificate of capital importation within 24 hours from the bank, and that bank is supposed to report to uh, the central bank within 48 hours. So uh, the reason why... CBN has been brought in is to actually confirm if it actually if it got um, a, a return now if those banks now made returns to the CBN within the stipulated 48 hours now for these banks that have been called and um, banks like Charter, Standard Chartered Bank uh, Stambic IBTC and the others the, the, the allegation against them is that first they did not issue that capital of importation and that they were used to transfer money out of the country like for instance um, the allegation against uh, the, the trade minister that he transferred money out of the country, uh, yeah. the accusation is that he used some of these banks to transfer the money. So it is the total sum that uh, actually comes up to that um, $14 billion uh, we're talking about. Mm, quite interesting. Well, many thanks, uh, Deji, for those insights. Of course, Deji Badmus joining us in Lagos.